right, let's go ahead and create this uh, button maker uh, base plate. So make sure we're in our button maker project. And uh, again, we can alternatively just select from the pull down menu on the new file menu as well. So all right, so go ahead and we'll create this part. What we're going to do to start with this uh, this particular button maker has some holes in it, and it has a specific a couple of specific kind of holes. And it's going to be the first time where you've actually seen holes um, in uh, the, the you know or whole callouts, I should say, on a sketch. So uh, there's a couple of things we're going to have to learn from this particular video as well uh, while we create this sketch. All right, so we're going to be creating an 11 by 4 rectangle to start. And 4, OK, and let's just kind of zoom back out and get the whole thing in frame. There we go. OK, so we got our 4 by 11 rectangle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a 2D fillet to uh, the corners, and we're going to do that to a radius of 0.5. And that is typical across the uh, entire Plate. So we'll do that. And oops. And we're good to go. Okay, so we got the uh, sort of overall dimensions on here. Let's go ahead and make a plate out of this. And we will home key extrude. Let's go, it's a thickness of 0.5 according to the sketch at the bottom. And please note that the reason there's two sketches is because what you have on the front and the sorry, the top and the bottom is going to be actually different um, than uh, bottom and top. So we've got that all set. Okay, so half inch extrusion. I went to the other way just so I could have the top this way and then flip it around and see that I'll get the bottom. All right, so let's start with uh, the top and we're going to sketch a couple of items on here of note. In this case, we're actually going to start with a construction line and we're going to make that construction line a midpoint um, or a midway through the top and bottom. And just to make sure it is, it should be four divided by two and it's two on the dot. Okay, so we did it right. Let's go ahead and right click and make it a construction line. We're going to put four points along this line, and we'll dimension the location of those points. Um, and again, we just try to place it so that nothing is auto-constrained. And we have four points to place. We're going to place that point and place that point. OK, that's all set. Let's go ahead and dimension the location. We only have to do one dimension when we're dimensioning a point. So in this case, we're going to make this 0.4375. We're going to dimension this to be uh, 1.5, so it's going to move it all the way over, and then we're going to use this to be 5.5 on the dot, and then we'll use this dimension over here and make this 0.4375. Okay, so uh, those well, those are going to be those are going to, those are going to be the centers of uh, some of the holes, two of the types of holes that we're going to put onto this top of this piece. So let's start by uh, creating the, uh, the the two through holes. Those are easiest, okay, to uh, work with. And let's go ahead and deselect the two holes unless it wants us to do that. Does it want us to do? Both of them. Whoa, what are we doing here? Hang on a second. <laughs> let's go ahead and actually let's 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 see if we can actually select the sketch features first and then make a hole. Alright, that'll start. Okay. Alright. Ignore the uh, really, really atypical preview of the two holes here. So these are through holes, alright? So through holes are nice and easy, okay? Our standard through hole is going to be a drilled hole. And we're gonna drill that all the way through. Okay, the two indicated things, but we're actually going to uh, not make them that large. We're going to make them 0 0.3125 in radius. Okay, so that's what that means. 3.3125 through times two just means two of the holes, right? Okay, so that's easy. Through holes. If we go to the other side, they're through. Okay, so we have done that. Now the next two hole types, and now you'll notice, oh, oh, what happened to your sketch? Wait a minute, right? Don't forget, we can just go back and share the sketch and recover the sketch and not have to worry about having those bits of information lost again. So this time, let's go ahead and select. And notice what I did last time was I selected the centers of the holes first. And you can hold down Shift just like you can in Word and select multiple holes threads at the same time. I'm selecting these two holes on the outside because these holes are also going to have the same parameters. However, they are going to be slightly, slightly, slightly different. In these two uh, holes, we're actually creating a uh, countersink hole. Now, you'll see that there's a upside down, it's sort of like a V shape, but really like an arrow pointing down. That's the icon for countersink, okay? So this is a countersink hole. It gives us an angle, which is 82 degrees, and it gives us a outside diameter and an inside diameter, 
Make sure you understand the difference between the two. The uh, outside diameter is the one that's at the top here. So in this case, the outside diameter is 0.5. The inside diameter is 0.25. So if we go down here, we're going to go 0.25. Okay? And then we got one hole here, sorry, one hole there and one hole there. And we hit OK. All right, so we got a countersink hole. And then remember when we went to the countersink, you could see the sort of the recess waiting for the screw uh, or something or a fastener or a pin or whatever the case may be. Okay, so that's all set. So the front, that's the front of the base. Uh, we'll chamfer it later. We'll come back and do the chamfers later. And by the way, while I'm working uh, on the back here and placing uh, the screw thread holes, I just want to mention that the last piece I did was the rectangular pattern. And I, after I did the rectangular pattern, I applied a 1 32nd chamfer to all the edges of the rectangular pattern. Well, I didn't have to do that because I read ahead and thinking it was part of the rectangular pattern uh, thing. And I just went ahead and did it. But hey, the practice is practice. No big deal, right? So this one's easy, though. We're on the back. And I created a sketch in the back here. And I'm going to go ahead and put four points on here. And these points actually are coincident uh, to the center of fillets. So we can actually just use the geometry that previously existed because we did the fillets in the previous sketch. And we'll use and create four. Let me make sure I got that last one right on the dot there. I'm using point the point tool, by the way. Uh, and I did. OK. So that's all set. Now, in this one here, we also have four screw holes. Now, this is a new uh, type of hole that you're going to be creating. You're going to be creating a threaded hole. Now, the threaded hole has the most out of all the all the holes you can drill into a part. The, uh, the screw or threaded hole has the most parameters. Okay, So let's go ahead and select one, two. Let's start by selecting the four centers. These are all the same hole, right, because it says times four on there. So that's what that means. All right. Now. First thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, use a standard. We're going to use a standard drill hole. Okay. Uh, in this case, I'm sorry, I take that back. We're going to use yep, stand, sorry, standard drill hole. I was right. And we're going to select the what's called tapped hole. Okay. That means that we're going to have have some threads cut out of it so it can receive a screw. Now, <clears throat> the next items you see there, you look in this drawing and you're seeing it says 8-32 UNC. Okay. 8 is a screw code, okay, and which is under size. So if I go to the size menu, I'm going to look for the number 8, okay? And these will be that when we do tap holes, these will be the most common sizes you select, but it also may say a quarter inch or a half inch or even a full inch uh, in some cases. Those would be some pretty heavy duty things if you're using full inch screws uh, or larger for that matter. But for now, we're going to select screw type 8, okay? Now, you'll notice that the, the, the designation, this is actually the, where you get the particular screw code. And there's only two kind of screw codes that exist, sorry, screw code for screw code 8 that exist. And that's 8-32 uh, for uh, UNC, and there's also one for UNF. Uh, one, set, one basically is um, a slightly different classification than the other, but you don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, all it means is that there's 32 threads per inch. That's what the 32, 32 comes from, OK? So that's all set. Now, we're not going to go through all. We are going to do distance on this. We are not screwing all the way through uh, or drilling all the way through to the, uh, to the outside, out, outside of the other, other side. We're actually going to go to a depth of 0.2875. And that's what that little uh, arrow that points down with the line on the top, that's what that means. So there's four of them. We have the right screw code. We have the right thread code. We hit OK. And there are, and we can zoom in and just kind of see what this looks like. You can see the threads right in the middle there. And you also see that if I flip around to the other side, it does not go through the top, right? So this is the bottom. And then the bottom basically has either something screwed to it or maybe it's there to be screwed to a table, uh, whatever the case may be. So there's our, um, there's our, our uh, bottom. Now the last thing we have to do is we have to apply a 1 32nd chamfer. And just like the last time, we can just type in the fraction, 1 over 32. We don't have to worry about any decimal conversions. And we're just going to click 1 two okay and those are the only edges that get that chamfer and that's it that is your button maker and that's oh, sorry button maker base plate okay so let's save the part and we're going to call it as it says in the previous directions base plate your initials in this case jc okay we save it and that's that we have one more part to go and then we're all done with 55a have a nice day